Hi, I'm Lana Vorza. I am a wife, a mother to three boys, a coffee lover, an author, a prophetic voice to the nations, and a speaker. It began for me in my relationship with God with asking Him two questions. What is on your heart today, Lord, and what are you dreaming about? That became the place of the greatest encounters for me, over coffee with Jesus. Hi guys, welcome to Coffee with Jesus, episode number 16. What a joy to have you with me today, whether you're here for the first time or you are joining for the 16th time. Oh my goodness, it is amazing to have you with me today. We are here in Sydney, so this is Coffee with Jesus in a new location. <laughs> we are here in Sydney, we're on the road, I'm ministering here for a month, so I thought, you know what, even though we're on the road, I am going to make sure that I still get these Coffees with Jesuses out to you, to bless you, to encourage you, to release hope to you, and so this is a improvised location. I said this morning, huge kudos to my husband who has set this up and set up all the lighting on the road, doing the best with what we've got to work with to be able to meet with you again this week. So it is so wonderful to have you with me. I actually have a cup here of my favorite coffee in Sydney is literally down the street from where we're staying. So I am enjoying myself tremendously. <laughs> anyway, I have a word for you today. This word has really been bubbling in my spirit and just overflowing in my heart for the last probably month or so. Um, and I've been sitting on it. I've, I've released it a few times, I think here and there in prophetic words, uh, but the Lord won't let me move off this word. And ultimately, if you've been following me and, and my ministry, you will know that when the Lord speaks, if he speaks a word, I won't move until he's finished speaking what he wants to share with me through that word. So the word I want to share with you today is the word reset. Now the scripture I'm going to read to you, I don't want you to switch off as soon as you hear this scripture. You go, oh yeah, Lana, I'm hearing that scripture everywhere. I know that scripture really well. Well, that's great. I'm going to prophesy it to you again today. <laughs> In Isaiah 43, 19, what does it say? It says this, actually, I'm going to read from verse 18. Verse 18 and 19, do not remember the past events. Pay no attention to things of old. Look, I am about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now that is probably a scripture that you're very familiar with or it's a scripture that you are seeing everywhere because so many people are talking about this scripture. Why? Because the Lord really is doing something new right now. He is doing something in the body of Christ and in the earth unlike anything that we have ever seen before. And I've spoken so many times in these episodes, I've spoken so much through prophetic words, I've spoken so much through videos and Facebook lives, and I keep saying these things. I keep saying things like, hold on to hope, breakthrough is upon you. Hold on to hope, God is dealing with the things of the heart to bring great freedom and deliverance. Now, why am I saying these things over and over and over again? because that's what he's doing right now. He is preparing the body of Christ to move with him into new places, to see the power of God move through us like never before, to see revival fire manifest in the earth and in the nations, to see major breakthrough, to see major signs and wonders, to see the glory of God revealed in the earth like we've never seen before, the gospel of Jesus spreading to every corner of the earth, the billion souls harvest manifesting as thousands and thousands and millions and billions of people come to know Jesus. We are in such a new era right now. I keep prophesying it that we are being reintroduced to the power of God. That is what is happening. But in the middle of this amazing outpouring that we're all anticipating, we're all believing for, we're all crying out for, we're all beginning to see this major move of the Spirit of God on the earth. I believe that there have been those giants that keep raising their heads up 
against you. These giants that refuse to bow, they continue to intimidate you. Well, I'm here today to tell you that the Lord spoke to me and he said this to me in a dream a couple of days ago. He said to me, Lana, he said, the things that you never thought could be aligned, I'm suddenly going to align. I am suddenly going to align. And I knew immediately when the Lord was speaking that he was speaking about the things in the lives of his people that just will not bow. They keep resisting the word of the Lord. They keep resisting the things that God has spoken to keep you from your destiny. But do you know what's really interesting is the atmosphere when the Lord spoke that was highlighting the area of the heart. Now I want to speak to you right now that there is a divine reset upon you by the hand of God. The Lord showed me so clearly that this divine reset is not going to come by man. This divine reset is going to come by the very hand of God, that your testimony will be not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. I am free because who the sun set free is free indeed. There is a major deliverance upon you, friends. There is a major deliverance happening in the body of Christ right now. The Lord spoke to me so clearly a couple of days ago and he said to me, Lana, I'm bringing things up so I can bring them out. And I want to prophesy over you right now that those things in the heart, the lies, the strongholds, the woundings, the traumas, all of the things that have refused to align, that those things are suddenly about to align by the power of God. Where there have been lies that you just seem like, God, I can't get free of this lie no matter what I've done. I've repented, I'm decreeing, but my heart still won't shift. I want to prophesy to you right now in the name of Jesus that there is a powerful revelation of the truth of Scripture, the truth of who Jesus is and who He says you are your identity. There is a reset happening in your mind, in your heart and in your body that is going to bring major, major breakthrough into your life. The Lord is really on this, this word right now with me that he will not let me move from it because I believe that there are so many in the body of Christ that are still in that place of battle. You've been in that place where you're tired, but I'm prophesying to you that you are moving from the place of tired to the place of triumph. You are moving to the place of victory in Christ. You already have the victory in Christ, and now you're gonna run in it like never before. You're gonna run in triumph. But this divine reset that the Lord showed me it is not a reset that's going to happen in one area of your life. It is a reset that only the Lord knows what to reset in your heart and then everything is going to change. There is going to be a divine reset that's going to take place in your life. I saw so many hearts just absolutely caged in anxiety. So much torment and so much turmoil inside of the heart. I want to prophesy to you right now that one word out of his mouth, right? Matthew 4.4, 4, we live not by bread alone, but by every word that flows out of the mouth of God. There are some significant words that are coming to your life out of scripture, out of the mouth of God, that's going to bring a sudden reset in your life. There's going to be a sudden reset and not only are you going to see your heart healed, but I'm seeing many bodies are going to come suddenly into alignment. Many of you have been battling mental torment. God, am I crazy? I can't think straight. What's going on? God's dealing with that right now. I believe there's going to be testimonies from this broadcast, from this episode of people being healed of that confusion over your mind. I want to pray for you right now that, that the Lord will just release that off you. There is an assignment again against many of you, a battle that's been in your mind that you're like, God, am I crazy? But it's actually been the enemy coming against you to bring torment and confusion to keep you from the place of encounter. So Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I release your peace and I release your breakthrough, Lord God. Lord, I decree right now in the name of Jesus that any assignment against the mind is now broken in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would just lift off right now like a hat, lift off off that torment of the mind right now in the name of Jesus. I release healing over my friends right now in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. God, I decree that they have the mind of Christ. I decree clear thinking. You have a sound mind in Jesus name. 
thank you, Lord. You're going to notice even in the next couple of days that there that fogginess, that, that ability to, to think straight that you haven't had is suddenly going to fall off, that it's breaking like this. It's going to go and you're going to have clear thinking. You're going to be able to see clearer than you've ever seen before. But if you hear anything out of this broadcast today, please hear this. I believe that the Lord wants to release hope to you today. The Lord wants to release hope to you that you are not alone, friend. You are not alone and you are not going crazy. There is warfare, there is turbulence, there is pruning and purging that God is doing. I'm really speaking to somebody right now. It's been an intense season and I hear these words from the, the heart of God. You have done nothing wrong. There is somebody or maybe more than one person watching and you have had that question in your heart, God, what have I done wrong? Where have I missed it that everything has become so messy and I don't feel like myself anymore? God, what have I done wrong? I'm here to prophesy and encourage you right now. You have done nothing wrong. I hear the Spirit of God speaking right now. You have done nothing wrong. There is a turbulence in this season. There is opposition in this season. There is a peeling back of the onion layers of the heart where there's been woundings and strongholds that is happening. But friend, you have not done anything wrong. You hear that today, that the Lord knows the intensity of this season, but it's shifting. The divine reset of God is being met and you're going to go further than you've ever been before. As you meet this divine reset that the Lord is bringing upon your life, you are moving into a new era of being empowered by the Spirit like you have never been before. You are going to go further than you've ever been and you're going to do things that you never imagined you could do. The wind of His Spirit is catching the sails of your faith to carry you further than you've ever been. Those of you watching that, that may be thinking, Lana, it's been so hard this season. I actually don't feel like myself anymore. I actually feel like I've lost myself. Well, I wanna to speak to you today that in this divine reset, there is a glorious awakening of your identity. There is a glorious awakening and refreshing like a waterfall pouring over you of the revelation of who you are in Christ. The love of God crashing over you wave after wave after wave after wave. You are going to have tremendous encounters with Jesus that are going to change you forever. I've been prophesying for so long. Hold on. There are encounters with Jesus upon you that are going to change everything. And there really are. There really are. And that's why the enemy's fighting so much. I even see the word right now, fresh commissioning. In these encounters with Jesus, there are going to be, there are Isaiah 6 encounters upon you where you're going to see the King of glory, where you're going to see him on the throne like Isaiah, and you will fall face down in the fear of the Lord. God, who am I? Right? Like Isaiah cried out, woe to me. But you know what I see? I see the encounter with, with the love of God. I see the encounter with the majesty of God that is going to shift significant things in your heart and there's going to be a fresh commissioning upon you. There is a new sound and a new wave of commissioning that is upon you and that's why all hell has broken loose to try and stop you from flowing in that wave of fresh commissioning. But friend, I'm telling you right now, can you tell? I feel it in my bones. You are not going to miss this wave. You are not going to miss it. You are. The enemy may have thought that he's got you by hitting you in every direction but the divine reset of God is going to bring a rest into your heart and into your life and see you catapulted into this fresh commissioning. You are about to be empowered by the Spirit of God to do things with Jesus and partnering with the Holy Spirit that you never thought you could do. It's an upgrade. It really is. But the Lord cares about your heart and He cares about what's going on inside. And I'm prophesying to you right now that there is a wholeness that is upon you. You are a new creation in Christ. That scripture in Ephesians is going to mean more to you in this new era than ever before as the unraveling of the glorious revelation of your identity 
is made manifest in your life in ways you've never seen. That they're not just words on a page that you read and go, God, I'm reading these words, but my heart just doesn't agree. God, my heart's not believing. There's so many lies screaming at me. People are telling me this is who I am. My past is telling me this is who I am. But you are going to read scriptures about your identity with fresh eyes. With fresh eyes. The seed is going to take root and bear great fruit. I want you to hear that. The seed is going to take root and bear great fruit. The seed of the word of God that you've been reading and reading and reading. God, I know I'm a victor. Lord God, I know that I'm a new creation in Christ. Lord, I know I'm righteous. I know, I know, I know, I know. Every time you have decreed it and read it, it's been a seed that's continually being sown. And you're now going to see it manifest in your heart. You're going to see in this divine reset that you are going to come into your identity in Christ like never before. I see peace coming to your hearts. I see like a mouse on a wheel. Many of you, your hearts have felt like a mouse running continually on a wheel. There's never rest. There's rest coming. The peace of Christ is going to overwhelm your heart and your mind like never before. The fresh awakening of your identity and the fear is going to fall off in the revelation of his love and who he says you are and the fear of man is going to break. I'm seeing that right now. Many of you have lost your voice because of the fear of man, but that's breaking in the divine reset. I believe it's even breaking right now. I'm seeing a healing taking place in hearts and a deliverance happening right now. The chains of fear of man are breaking off. And there is a boldness that is coming in your heart and in your voice to speak and to decree what God is saying. To speak and decree what God is saying over your life and where he's leading you and what he's asking you to put your hands to and not be suffocated by the expectation of man or what you, what other people are telling you you should do or where you should go or how it should look. People walking all over you. God is really reawakening fresh and healthy boundaries in your life through this divine reset as you step into the revelation of your identity like never before. Your voice is coming back to say, you know what? This is who I am. This is what I'm called to. And I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to stay in my lane. So friend, I want you to walk away, get up from your chair after this broadcast with hope filling your heart. God has not left you alone. He's not standing on the sideline waiting for you to get it all together. So then he can bring a divine reset. He has seen the turmoil of your heart. He has seen the anxiety, the fear, the pain, the stress, the trauma, the opposition, the battle of the mind, how alone you felt. He's seen it all. And he's sitting there next to you. I have this vision right now of Jesus sitting next to you with his arm around you. And he's saying, you know what? It's okay. And it's going to be okay because I'm with you. I'm working and I'm about to position you and bring you back to life again, your heart back to life again with more life, more revelation, more strength, vision and passion than you've ever had. So can I encourage you in your declaration where those words have been, I feel like I've lost myself. I want to encourage you to say thank you, Jesus, for the divine reset of your spirit over my life right now that I'm coming into the place of knowing who I am in you more than I've ever known before. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm finding myself in you like never before. Friend, your joy is coming back. Your strength is coming back. Your passion's coming back and your vision is coming back and the spring in your step is coming back. But not only is it coming back, it's coming back with more than you have before. The divine reset of God is bringing resurrection power into your life. Your body's coming back to life in the areas where there's just been sickness and disease. It's suddenly breaking resurrection power and healing into your body in the name of Jesus. Creativity that has been stolen is coming back right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I prophesy over you, it is a new day. It is a new day. God is doing a new thing. God is moving on your behalf like you've never seen before. 
And the enemy's going to be so sorry that he messed with you. He's going to be so sorry that he came against you because as he's pushed against you, what, in, what God is going to do through you in this divine reset, you are going to steamroll with the Holy Spirit, the works of darkness in your life, in the, the lives of your friends and your family, your workplaces, cities and nations, the mandate of God for you to go forward in the Great Commission and spread the gospel and see signs, wonders and miracles that everybody would know the good news of Jesus and the gospel, that many would come to salvation in Christ. The commissioning of God upon your life, the destiny God has for you is not at its end. It is at a new beginning. Because the resurrection power of God is breathing upon you in this divine reset, friends. He's making up for time that was stolen. I want to just prophesy this. I feel this really strongly right now. What would usually take you 24 hours to do in this divine reset, you will do in two hours. The acceleration of God upon you. Don't align with the lie that everything has been stolen in the time that has been stolen. God is not only going to make up for the time that's been stolen and time that has been lost. He's going to do more in a shorter space of time than you could ever imagine. So I want to bless you today, friends. The divine reset of God is upon your life. And I know there are going to be testimonies after testimonies after testimonies of people that said, I was in this place of tired, weary, broken, not knowing how I was ever going to find myself again or my passion, the destiny God had for me. But then all of a sudden, he showed up and he restored me. He brought restoration into my life, into my heart and into my body. And I'm empowered by the spirit of God right now. And I'm doing more than I've ever done before and going further than I ever thought I would go. They're the testimonies that are going to come forth with all the glory going to Jesus. So I bless you today, friends. Have a great day. It's great to be with you. And I will see you next week. Bye. Hi there, I'm Kevin Vorser and I work with Lana in this ministry. I'd like to invite you to come and check out our website, lanavorser.com. There you can find Lana's latest prophetic words, even an archive of her past words. On our media page, you'll find a collection of Lana streamed media. And if you check out our itinerary page, you can see if we're coming to speak anywhere near you. If we are, we'd love to see you there. If this video blessed you or encouraged you, we welcome you to leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more, Click subscribe and the little bell button next to it so you get notification next time we post. Be blessed. Bye. Rest, 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 rest,